John Wick Chapter 4. Um, I was late for the John Wick movies. I was late. So the first one I really loved. Um, second one I think is a little worse, but still really good. The third one I think is the worst out of the four, but still fun and watchable. Uh, the fourth one shocked me because this one has by far the best villain uh, with Bill Skarsgård. Um, Ian, uh, what's his name? Ian McShane, who is, I always know him from uh, Kung Fu Panda, who voiced Tai Lung. So right. whenever, there's literally a scene in the movie where he's holding a scroll, and I can't help but just think of him being like, <laughs> Dragon Scroll! Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just I yeah. can't think that. Yeah. But Skarsgård is terrific as a villain. Um, and... The, these stunts and it's it, this is another three hour movie that is really well paced and, yeah i mean it's gotta be right and the yeah, stunt the action sequences keanu reeves even though he doesn't talk a lot even though he's not the best actor he's one of the most charismatic actor, actors out there and he's Definitely. so great at playing this guy he just is there's a few moments where i'm like how the hell does john wick survive that um and I thought it ended great. I'm not going to spoil it for people. I thought it ended great. I hope it's the last John Wick movie, personally. Um, I know there's talks of a new one, but to me, it's only because the movie made so much damn money. Why yeah. it's, yeah, it's being talked about. Because, And they leave things open, but, you know, for spinoff series, for other things too. But the way... I, it was just a great theater experience. I was in there. I was... I, I, I loved... I was in every scene. I was... In, attached to everything and because this movie has i think the best villain of the franchise it sticks out to me as possibly being better than the first one which i wasn't expecting out of john wick 4 all the john wicks got worse for me it was like john wick 1 was amazing great yeah 2 was slightly worse but still really good and 3 was just like kind of a fun time and i was expecting 4 to kind of be similar to 3 like just kind of fun action movie nothing too deep but no i it was really great in my opinion yeah i have so i also was late to john wick i have yet to finish the third movie just because i like started it and i was kind of like <laughs> what the hell are we doing um, but I love the way it ends i yeah. like the way john wick three ends okay yeah but, I gotta, I gotta watch it though. I, I've heard the same thing. I've heard great things about the fourth one. So, you know. also like an issue I have with the third one. Just so I know we're sidetracking a bit, but Halle, Halle Berry's character was very marketed. You know, she was marketed a lot. She's, she kind of doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, although, like I said, they're all fun movies, but four shocked me, and I heard yeah. it was really good. Um, but four was really, really fun. And I love the music too. I love the John Wick theme. It just makes, yeah. you know, it was great. And I loved it. And and I, technically you could say the ending of this movie is, you know, somewhat of a cliffhanger. I hope, um, you know, so by putting it above Across the Spider-Verse, because you just said like Across the Spider-Verse ends in a cliffhanger. In my opinion, it's not a cl cliffhanger until they make a fifth John Wick. and. Right better because that's the only explanation why you're making a john wick five is if you think it's if not if not the same you know better yeah